Uh, AIA called back. Okay, you there, sir? Sorry about yeah. that. What was your name again? Sorry. Um, yeah. Hey, Sean, let me ask you this. You know, we had three complaints against you and you never once responded to me. Uh, yeah, actually, because there's multiple issues, but pretty much I was ran, ran out of my location for no, no reasonable reason. And um, basically, I've got all kinds of harassment uh, by police, this, 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 and this. I've been selling on eBay for 10 years plus. I mean, I don't... I don't have to talk about who I am or what. I mean, the people got their boats, and they should have all gotten their titles. They should have, uh... Yeah, but because the state's intervening, Sean, it wasn't because you provided them. It's the, the, the titles were at Odessa, Cincinnati, Dayton, not because I kept them. The vehicles were paid for in full, okay, the day I, I purchased them. Now, I pretty much got them, and I have a FedEx tracking number. The, Odessa sent them to me. Um, finally, after I went nuts on them because I got something, uh, in the mail, but, uh, so it's a quite a bit bigger story than, uh, than just a few page thing, but I'm, I need to get this settled, settled up, um, and you can call Mike Long of Odessa Cincinnati Dayton. He's given me his private, he's the manager of the auction that, uh, four boats were all bought at. Um, and he said he would verify the fact of the date that I bought them, that they were paid for in full with uh, certified funds, and that the titles, um, some, for, for some reason, uh, someone in their title department decided they were going to hold them. And uh, these vehicles were public or dealer auction purchases, so there is no true reason why they should have ever been able to hold my titles. I I, if you if you knew the facts of, of the things that have happened to me and uh, the fact that I was basically screwed out of my location somehow um, without pretty much, they basically gave me 30 days to get out, but the building had not been up to code and I put 200 and some thousand dollars in it. And my original deal was 180 days anyways, if there ever was this issue. This goes all the way back to my real estate <laughs> issue, but uh, indirectly... I have videos of people tampering with my mailbox. I've got recordings of, you know, people pretty much threatening me. And, uh, you know, I, I have talked with FBI agents too. I mean, I, I have no reason to hide from anybody, but basically I've had so much harassment that I've, uh, in the process of dealing with some ACLU and uh, some other cases, but indirectly, these are things that uh, I was never running or hiding from. Why would I want to lose my eBay account that I spent 10 years making perfect feedback for. <laughs> um, well, Sean, at the end of the day, we're not going to be able to help you. I'm just informing you that... Um, You're not going to be able to help me with eBay? We're not eBay. That's the problem. Yeah, no, they told me that you guys would uh, be able to help me with eBay. We That's e eBay, eBay. I've already spent like a month with eBay trying to get to the right place to solve this because the thing is they also didn't put the messages in my... Uh, eBay box ever. For some reason, eBay said that, and they and that this is verifiable via emails with the people I had talked to at eBay, but they looked in my inbox, and for some reason, my stuff wasn't going in my eBay inbox. So, and I don't know why. Sean, so, I mean, you didn't respond to, I mean, we had three complaints. I'm not trying to play games, all right, man? Okay, yeah. Dessa Auctions is on the hook. I'm, good. I'm suing them in federal court, okay? I've got a lawyer ready to rumble. Now, you guys want to not help me get in anywhere? That's perfectly fine. I hope you guys are the insurer for Odessa Auctions because I'm sure that they'll be making a claim against you guys. <laughs> I'm not going to dick around. I'm not going to get pushed around. And I can actually have an attorney start dealing with you guys directly, too, if you guys want to start making accusations of boats that were paid for. And Odessa Auctions is the responsible party for never delivering titles. Sean, so you know what? We're not making any accusations whatsoever. We're just telling you the facts. I know. I'm telling you the facts, too. I got facts here. I got 600 pages of facts that are about to be in a federal court case. Now, I just want to know. John, as I, as I said before, it's not, it's not the, you know, if the eBay discretion will not reinstate your account, we have nothing to do with. Uh, they told me that you got, that I needed to deal with you guys, and you guys had to say that they were, uh, hold on one second. Let me read you the email, or if you give me your email address, I'll forward you. Sorry, I get angry about this, and I, and I don't know you personally, so it's nothing to you personally. I am just telling you that Odessa should have given me the titles. They were supposed to give me the titles. I had called 
many a times to get these titles. I was told they were going to be sent. I was told they were going to be sent. Never got sent. They even told me, and I recorded the video, because I said, this is bullshit. I, they even told me that they sent them and got them sent back. I said, send me the proof. I know how FedEx works. And I said, I've been buying from your auction for years. Why wouldn't I get my titles? And they never sent me the proof. And now it's all wishy-washy, this, that. They realize that they've done some stuff wrong. And uh, one way or another, I mean, I've got, I've got, uh, I've got a lot of info. I mean, there's the boats are paid for in full. There was no floor plan. Why in the hell would they not release my titles? They said, "Oh, your license expired." Well, these are public or dealer items. A, B. I said my license was not expired the day I purchased those boats. So there's no reason you guys hold my titles. And I pretty much nonstop had. Uh, Pretty much trying to figure it all out, but now we put all, the whole thing together, and it's kind of a, it's going to be a pretty decent size case. And I'm not one to to go after people I really have never even sued before, but uh, I know I'm right about the facts that uh, the situation that's that's at hand right now, and this is uh, the simple fact that I never received my titles. I also, in the meantime, got pushed out of my location that I had was. In, in the process of going through my probably 10th or 12th building inspection on, you know? Um, so basically I got pushed in a rock in a hard place and I had uh, no contact that was my 437 number. We don't even start talking about that, but uh, the, no the phone actually got broken um, and pretty much just everything became a huge mess. <laughs> so, and then in the meantime, I got falsely accused of stuff. I had to deal with the legal system, but uh, everything's all starting to reverse back out to where it needs to be anyways um, because there's definitely some parties at fault and I've got attorneys that are working with it. I just didn't uh, didn't even realize what was going on at the time because it all happened so fast. Um, hold on one second. Uh, well, I mean, I, I'm sorry to hear all that, Sean. But can you give me... We can, we can do for you. I mean, there's nothing I can do for you. Here. AIA or uh, eBay Motors is the one who sent me this. Hold on one second. Let me just give you the... Or if I could, I forward you the email they they sent me to get the account reinstated because they, they've even called me today. Uh, it's our understanding that you know you're still not in good standing with the state of Indiana. Um. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be in great standing with the state of Indiana, and this is actually like federal news case. I mean, I've got, I've actually got. Uh, don't worry, I'm dealing, I'm dealing with that, but that that is besides the point because my eBay account does not have to be registered with the state of Indiana. I've had that eBay look, account. Look, 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 here's the, here's the, the fact of the matter is, I, I think that these buyers, these three buyers that had to be I've there. talked to these buyers now, since then. Okay. I've started, I've explained a lot of stuff, you know, I've even made a video. I know that, I know that the, uh, the, the Mercers, uh, Amy and Rick Mercer, their case, yeah, they received the title, but the, uh, the complaint, the top was missing from the boat. Yeah, so we have that for them too. You know, if you realize the sabotage, purpose sabotage that had been done to me by people of, of uh, law enforcement, um, and I'm talking from the fact of literally throwing away documentation out of my files. Basically, I've got, uh, luckily I'm smart enough to have started setting up surveillance to prove it all. Um, there's some harassment uh, have there. You the, have you sent the up the, the, the top? Of the I have their top. I was actually going to call them. I'm at, it's all on the list right here. I had gotten the, all these titles. I was following an attorney's list of things that I needed to get done pretty much in order. But I have their top. They should. They will have it soon. I will uh, send it to them. I have no. I have talked to those people many a times. I never had any intent of avoiding or beating around the bush with anybody. If you look at the day that I... And I have court documents to prove. Basically, I got pushed out of my... I got a 30-day notice pretty much to be out by June 1st, which is right into primetime boat season. These are purposely done things, too. Like, I mean, I've got, got some good names of ex exactly why and who of some things. And so not everybody's at fault, but obviously it only takes a couple, you know, couple shots from one, one area to make, make a cookie crumble. So... Um, the state of Indiana wants to say I didn't pay them twenty dollars to renew, but I had a hundred and fifty dollar credit on there. I've actually got all kinds of documentation on that. My, uh, it's funny. I paid the Secretary of State of Indiana, paid them with checks that have been deposited to change my address two times since I originally incorporated. Have proof of that, all in order. Um, and I'm definitely ready. I've already called the Attorney General's office. 
gave them the right address. They just got their papers actually today or whatever. And uh, I'm ready, we're ready to rumble on that too, but I'm, I'm doing everything exactly as I've been told. So, and I've even, uh, eBay's pretty much given me, wait, hold on one second, they, this lady just sent me, and I have her name too, and I don't know if you know her, but, uh, uh, Jeanette J, or no, Lynette J, and she reviewed everything, and then the following, because there's no reason not to give someone a title, it's not like it was a floor plan boat or anything, the damn auction didn't give me them, so, how, what am I supposed to do about that, and I had called several times, and they know this because they rushed all of a sudden to get them to me as soon as I said, I've got attorney general's issues. I've got phone calls recorded of me calling Odessa every single time. Um, pretty much I just started getting so pissed off I just had to start recording them. And they know it. I mean, if you want, I can send you a couple links of some phone calls to prove the facts. Um, I mean, again, man, I'd like to help you, but how is this, what isn't it relevant to? Tell me what it's not relevant to. It's, what's not relevant that they had the, all the titles for these boats? Then what? What's what is the case at hand now? But you didn't provide them titles. The buyers had to obtain titles. To oh, them. okay. And why didn't I provide them titles? Whose fault is it? Odessa Auctions, Car Auction Services. Okay, I have recordings why of it. To us? We what? have multiple. I mean, we have. They're all bought on the same day. Uh huh. At okay. the same auction. You want to talk to Mike Long, he gave me his personal phone number. He said he would gladly help work this out with you. He doesn't want to write any written statements. Obviously, I'm sure he doesn't want to get any legal liability. Um, but he said he would. He gave me his personal... Can I give you his info? We're not, we're not eBay. And yeah, I know, but he said I have to contact AIA to resolve your buyer concern about the vehicle. And then, and then when AIA lets us know the complaint has been resolved... We will, we will call you, or yeah, we will review your, your account again. So pretty much, they can't review my account until you at least let them know that the people have applied for or gotten titles or whatever, however you want to go about it. They can't, uh, and that's Lynette J. I said, I can email you a email that they sent me. And I, I spent like a month on this. The Mercer deal, any Mercer's uh, complaint won't be considered resolved until uh, they receive the top or compensation for it. Uh, I have their top actually for them. If okay, you knew, right. yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 you just told me that. I mean, what am I going to do with their top? What do I mean? In reality, I have no desire to keep any of their stuff. If you knew the things that I have went through, um, they're pretty much nightmarish. But I've actually, I've got, I've gotten to a pretty good setting with everything, thanks to good attorneys, obviously. Um, Sean, why don't you try to resolve the issue with the Mercers? Compensate them for the top, or send them the top. Hey, wanna, yeah, I just want to send them right. the top. It's already here. Um, so is, is that the only like pretty much? No, there's two other complaints where the buyers never received a certificate of title, which is a there. huge issue. I understand what you're saying. Where the titles were? They're all they're all bought from the same auction the same day. Is the At biggest. The end of the day, though, the state had to intervene, and these people had to go through pure hell. To try to obtain a title for it. Trust I, me, I, trust me, I 100% agree with you on that. As far as you where know, you're, you're coming from. Buyers, I promise, wouldn't give you a, a, a glowing recommendation to be back on eBay. In fact, if they found out you were back on eBay, they'd probably turn around and see eBay. I've already and talked to these, talked to a handful of these buyers. I don't know which ones are supposedly say, saying this and that, but um, if you want to see, I've got, a, I've actually, I have a 45 minute video. I took it off offline because my lawyer advised me not to keep it up there because he's like don't give don't give many moves for defense defenses right now don't spill the beans too too early because you've got a lot of claims right now um and uh more or less I, I mike long said he would verify the fact that i never received any of these titles okay that i bought these boats a year ahead of time and obviously i had bought in, uh i bought in 10 to 10 plus million dollars of boats from odessa auctions as Sean Dada, not as a company of Dream Toy Store, this, this, this. Okay? I've been selling for 10 years on eBay. I paid for the boats. There are not no loans on the boats. There's no reason why. Rick Stalder, his boat is a perfect condition boat, and it, he got a steal of a deal on it. I even took a lo loss on it because it was a no reserve. The 2008 Tracker, great boat. They loved it, and I was doing everything I could to get them the paperwork. They were also provided, I mean, at the end of the day, there's another concern. They were provided bills of sale from, you know, Dream Toy Store that didn't have a license. Yeah, Dream Toy Store was incorporated. I have an Indiana state tax ID number that doesn't expire until 11 of 2012 with the Indiana Department of Revenue. Okay? 
Now, there's some shady shit going on in the Secretary of State's office, and I'm not backing down. In fact, I've got lawyers that aren't based out of Indiana. I've got some good ones out of Chicago. I also have a couple from Indiana. And they even said, you're going to be shaking some shit up. And I, I realize that. You know, I've been harassed out the ass for no reason. They wanted to say for $20 I didn't renew my dealer license. Bullshit. In fact, I have facts upon facts of them, somebody trying to dick me around, okay? And inside of inside of the state or some state office for reasons that I can't even exactly explain to begin with. But uh, they can just do whatever they want, try to play games. I've talked to all the, uh, all the people pretty much, um, or I've sent them certified titles, which I sent them immediately after I received them from Odessa, okay? And basically Mike Long, the manager of Odessa Cincinnati Dayton, he didn't want to make a written statement, but I mean, I'm, I'm getting the attorneys to make, it'll be a written statement one way or another, because I'll guarantee that I'll, I'll have a lawyer in there making sure that I get one. Um, I'm not just, I've contacted Secretary of State's office, and I'm trying to get it all taken care of, um, as I should. I never ran away, or why would I disappear with boats that were paid for as titles? What am I going to do with the titles? <laughs> Nothing. You can't do anything with the title. I couldn't. If you knew the things that had happened to me, basically false imprisonment. Like if you. Sean, yeah. Okay. I know for a fact that you communicated with other people in the state because I was, I was, you know, in contact with them. Oh, I contacted with who? The police. With, with your little FBI guy? What you want to talk? You want to, what? Detective Compton of the FBI? Let's let's start talking because this is, shit's gonna be federal. I can guarantee you're gonna get a subpoena in front of a federal judge. What? They were not. Re who was reaching me? Who was reaching me? Who was reaching me? Is what? I would like to know who was reaching me. You were responding to them. I wasn't responding through them through my four three seven number. Okay. What? Are you, what are you? This is. This are, I'll deal. I, I've got. I've got cases going. I would have called you if I had the information. You don't. If you knew the fact that I had to move forty-four thousand square foot marina that I put my fucking two hundred thousand dollars in remodeling, I've got fucking charges against state officials, okay? And they're real. And I'm not bullshitting around, okay? Now, what I'm gonna know is what do I got to do to get this taken care of? Because I'm not gonna just keep sitting back and just just letting everybody think they're gonna walk all over me. Because I'm actually gonna shake shit up so bad it's gonna be bad. And I don't give a shit. I told you before, we're not eBay. Yeah. So, okay, what you want me to deal with who? The Mercers or what? Because eBay's... Okay, look, I'll tell you what. I'll give you help on this. And I think this will certainly help. If you can get a hold of the Mercers, resolve that issue with them, and have them contact us or provide something in writing to the effect that, you know, hey, the matter's been resolved, as well as Wiseheart, what is it, Tim or... or uh, yeah, I've, I've got three. The, I've got four boat issues that are all related to the same Odessa case. Okay, and pretty much there. I also have proof that I had called them, but also pretty much I had been arrested for things that I didn't do. Um, and I, this, these are charges that are false and pretty much getting dismissed, but they were just allegations of you know. I think the other one is shallow. I'm just trying to be focused here. Yeah, no, I lost my... Well, if you realize, I don't have my 4375466 number. I spent literally five months trying to get my damn phone number back. Okay? And there's no reason I should have ever lost it. We've got Mercer, we've got the satellite, we have Wiseheart, okay? If and then there's uh, Eugene uh, something or other, which I've emailed him multiple times, stayed in contact with him because he had bought in the boat, and then he actually changed his mind about it. Um, and I said, no problem, we'll resell it for you. And this is before I had any issues with having to move out of my building out of nowhere that I didn't. My, my, my logic here is if maybe those individuals, you reach out to your customers. I have reached out to. Uh, the only one I haven't talked to is the Mercer lady because she had a whole bunch of stuff on there and I was actually working on it. But I've, obviously I've been in and out of attorney offices pretty much day and night getting all these damn papers in order, but you gotta also realize I moved to 44,000 square foot marina in less than 30 days. I got robbed for many items blindly, but not blindly, because I know, I, I'm telling you building department inspectors literally stealing forklifts and stuff. 
things that are not gonna just sit back and get rolled over about. These guys can think they're a conglomerate of pushing Sean around because they feel like they got him in this place. But the problem is, is I've got ACLU lawyers rumbling. I got stuff going with this and I'm not backing off it. I'm gonna get these four people. What do you need from all of them to get? Cause you just need to contact eBay. Uh, the only person who had any issues besides the, uh, besides the top is. Yeah, and the, you know, I went nuts on Odessa. I would have given them the title the same day. I went ape shit on Odessa, and all of a sudden they over. Multiple, multiple hours and countless, I mean, of time and energy and, and to try to obtain. Uh, I mean, you know how it is. Yeah, I, 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 I would like you to actually, could you write that down on a statement for me? Because that w would be, is going to be my best testimony in court against the death auctions, who I have pretty much videotaped the whole time, dicking me around and telling me why they, oh, we don't have your titles first, then we do have your titles, oh, we sent them, then they got sent back. Like, this is all bullshit game until I said, I've got letters from attorney generals and I'm not backing off. And then all of a sudden, I got a FedEx overnight. I can give you a FedEx if you'd like. I'll give you a FedEx tracking number. Look at the FedEx. It's from William C. Good Boulevard, Odessa Auctions, to my house, which I did not live at all summer long either because I pretty much was in limbo of A, moving, or B, dealing with stupid crap that I didn't even start <laughs> and I don't even know. But now I'm not, I'm not backing off any of these officials i definitely have civil rights violations and uh you know and they're not uh they're harassments of officers that had no right to harass me because i know my rights charge me if you have a case if not screw you and um pretty much obviously there is no charges but the the all the stuff claimed to the attorney general's office is all title stuff that adessa auctions is pretty much responsible for Boats, any claims that I have also are marine certified boats. Any things that I have on any of my record, marine certified boats that they wouldn't cover, um, and but they sell them with the marine certification. I've got I've got all this stuff in order. Like I said, I got 600 pages of stuff in order, and I spent day and night trying to get with these. Uh, I've been I spent 30 to 50 hours with eBay, literally, and they have this in their call log. And the lady's name is Lynette J. And like, I think it would certainly help. Look, I'm just trying to... Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I mean, you don't know me from Adam, but if you knew the frustration that I've, I've had to go through, and uh, I don't exactly know where, where it all came from because it's pretty much... They ran my whole... Like, pretty much ran me out of business. They My building inspector... Two years I had the building, they pretty much never inspected... Never approved my building inspection. <laughs> um, at all. And they just dicked me around. And I had, you know, valid dealer license at the time. When I changed my address last time, a guy came from the state of Indiana and said, oh, this, I thought it was a brand new dealer license. He said, all you had to do was send the money, $12 or $8 or something, to the state of Indiana to get to switch the, the address. Well, I did, and I have proof of it. I have all this in proof. So actually, I, I'd love to see what the Secretary of State of Indiana has to say with my factual documents from their office and how my... Okay, so, so uh, Sean, if you have these customers of yours, the eBay customers, we are seeing complaints against um can you can you possibly send an email to those all four of those if you probably were you the one dealing with all of them is it i wasn't the only one dealing with them. okay well i didn't know if you could I'm send you that, sean this is my helpful suggestion to you would be if they would agree to that and then that would certainly i think help Oh uh, yeah, they're, I mean, I'm sure I'll get them to agree to it because anything. I, how how would they get duped? They all got their boats, okay. One person got a top. Uh, they all got 30 day plates at minimum, but yeah, I you, I agree with you. And whatever claims they want to have, that's fine. I'll take those. I mean, yeah, and I, it's not my fault though. It's Odessa's fault, and that's all it does is give me more rage because I'm gonna sue the fucking shit out of Odessa in federal court. I got lawyers ready to go, and I know how big their pocketbooks are. I know, I know they got SEC violations. I know the whole damn game. I grew up going to Indianapolis auctions. I know the founders of them damn auctions. Okay, I know the whole fucking car business game. I know exactly about hockey's and DSC and AFC and their whole fucking bullshit circle of games. All right. So the problem is, I'm very well educated insider. And they're gonna fucking realize some big shit is coming right to Odessa's front door. So maybe you guys are in auction insurance and insurance agency form because everything right here is gonna get turned right back around to Odessa's Cincinnati Gate. 
and someone wants to explain the desk of Cincinnati Dayton, why I have 15 different phone calls of them telling me a different story every time. So who's making up the stories today? Trust me, I've got from top to bottom management to record videotaped. So it just, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be a federal court case. I've already got lawyers loving the fact of all the shit that I had put together. They pretty much set, told me to sit back now because you're getting fucked and you just need to sit back and keep getting all your evidence together. Now we're ready to go, pretty much. So it's fine. Everything, all these customers deserve damages, but uh, the damages are going to come from the proper people, okay? Because I did everything in my power possible to ensure that they got good votes, ensure that they got paperwork, and then and also try to ensure that they got the titles that somehow... One clerk after another kept telling me a different story. Oh, we sent them, but then we sent it back. I said, that's funny. You guys send me a $10 bill every month. A $10 bill every month. They just sent me one for January of 2013. You couldn't send me my titles? Why? You know, these boats were bought when my license was 100% valid. Okay? It's, you can't hold titles that are purchased when a, a license is valid. And then the Secretary of State wants to to sit, sit back and tell me I didn't pay him $20. Well, I have a Secretary of State voucher for over $200 that I paid extra because I kept having these dick around problems. Um, so, I mean, I, I know how the whole little Indianapolis uh, circle of car auctions and dealers works, okay? I mean, I used to go to ADE every day since I was like, probably like 15 years old. Like every time I got off school, I would always go with my dad to it. So it's not like I don't know. I know, I mean, I, I personally grew up around there. We used to fly into the auction on a small aircraft. Literally land on the landing strip at ADE, Indianapolis. So whatever they want to, I'm going to get these customers everything they need and then some. But I also have Mike Long's number at Odessa because he would be a very good contact for you to also express maybe what is going on to him. Because he's he's kind of gotten on the same page as me now. Um, and he's seen all the stuff I bought and pretty much has been pretty cooperative and he said any statements i make he said i will talk to your auction or insurance agent directly and i have his phone number if you could just even take the time of day just to give him a call just to verify that uh this is the situation i mean the whole thing is is whatever people wanted to force me into whatever i don't give a shit what the fbi wants to say or claim about me because i i went into their office i said well this is bullshit this is bullshit and none of this stuff is true so i don't really care and I, I really don't, I don't have anything to hide. I'm not hiding shit and I'm not gonna back down. In fact, I've bu built enough team of lawyers now that I don't not backing down. I'm just going bigger. So, um, and all these, these people, yeah, they are entitled to something I feel like for their lost time. So go ahead and if you guys can tell me or get me in writing what they want for a lost time, I'm gonna love it because that's gonna be- I don't have a clue, I don't have a clue. What they want, but I mean, I just I sympathize with them as well. Yeah, I 100% sympathize with them. You think I made a 10 year reputation selling used items, uh, basically based off some bullshit? No way. Again, the fact of the matter is, if you would have just reached out to us, I would have gladly would have reached out to us. If you